Hey, what's up, B Hackers? So, in this week's video, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Hey guys, so a couple of days ago, someone in my EDM coaching program asked me how to make this kind of Swedish house mafia effect where you have a kick drum that speeds up and speeds up to like just creates a tone and then you can go ahead and make a melody out of that tone. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you would do that in Ableton from scratch, okay? So the first thing you wanna do, you see my screen here, is go and find a kick sample. So let's just go up here and go to kick. Doesn't really matter what kick you get. That one will do. So we're just gonna go and grab that into an audio lane like this. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that that uh, kick drum is the length of a quarter note, because a lot of kick drums won't be, and it'll mess it up if it's not. So you wanna just select a whole quarter note like this and click Apple J, which will make it the length of a quarter note. The next thing you wanna do is go and get a MIDI lane. So let's just open up that, which is Apple Shift T, and then go to your um, instruments, and deselect kick, and let's go and get a simpler, and you're gonna drop it into there like this. Now, the next thing you wanna do at this point, and let's just make sure these volume levels are all good. Okay, cool. Next thing you wanna do is go and grab that kick and drag it into the simpler like this. Now, next thing you wanna do is drag out a really long, like kind of a couple of bars worth, let's just go like all the way to here, okay? Actually, let's go to this point here of MIDI. So let's just insert a MIDI clip here. Uh, so insert MIDI clip, click on it, and I want you to go and put one long note on C3. C3 will give you the exact same note that's played in Simpler over here. So if I was to play this note here, sounds like this. If I was to play this note here, sounds exactly the same. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go back to Simpler in this lane here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on loop and we're gonna turn off snap. Now, if you play this one long note, it should loop, but not just loop, but it'll actually loop at the time pattern of your Ableton project. So I've got this 128. If I put um, this metronome on and play it, the beat will hit on every quarter note. Awesome, so that's one quick technique. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you want to automate the loop length. So, if I was to, I'm gonna actually just put an, a point here because this is where it will start. And I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this all the way out. And I'm gonna play around with this loop. Oh, so sorry, this is the loop one here. So I'm gonna click on loop up here, like this, make sure it's all the way at the top. And I'm gonna slowly make this quicker over time. And let's turn the metronome off for now so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so that's how you create that effect. But here's the next top tip for you. What I'm going to do is go into audio effects and go to a tuner and dra grab a tuner and put it on. We're gonna stretch this lane out as far as we can. Now, you want to get this tone to pitch to a certain key because then when you drab, drop that tone into another simpler, it's gonna be the right key. So I'm gonna pitch this kick now, or the sound of this tone, to C. So if I was to just play this now from this point here, let's just, uh, let's just loop this section here like this, just by hitting loop and soloing this track, you'll see that it's making a tone in tuner. Wow, it, we hit a C first time. But actually, let's make it a higher pitch C by dragging it down. So here's what you do. You want to hit shift and grab this line. And it will allow you to move this line in really tiny kind of incremental amounts. So I'm now just going to bring this line down till it hits a higher C. So I make the, uh, the loop even tighter. So let's have a quick look at how this works. It's hitting that perfect C note. So now I'm gonna remove that automation. So now I know that this kick will speed up to a point where it hits a C note. Like 
that. Okay, we now want to take that tone and resample it as an audio clip. So to do this, all you've got to do is Apple Teach, create a new audio lane. Come here and click resampling here, which will allow us to record this sound. So we're going to arm this track. We're going to solo out the track that we're recording the sound from. We're going to put the pointer at the point we want to record and click record up here, which will allow us to record this MIDI sound as an audio clip. Cool, we've now got an audio clip version of that sound. The next thing you want to do is go and grab another simpler and drag it into a new MIDI lane. Now what you want to do is go and grab this clip and drag it into simpler, like this. So we've now got a simpler version, or we're able to sample this sound. Now remember guys, the importance of simpler is that the audio clip that you drag into simpler will play at the exact right tone if you hit the middle C, which has worked out perfectly for us here because we've pitched this tone to be the middle C. So now, if I was to play this sound by itself, let me turn the volume up on that so you guys can hear it. Now if I was to go into my simpler and open up uh, the MIDI clip here, if I, was to hit, if I was to hit the middle C here, it would be the exact same tone. This is really relevant because what we're going to do next is we're going to create a melody out of the tone that we've dropped in. So you want to make sure it's in the right key as all the keys on your keyboard. For example, if I dropped in a tone that was in F, and then play the middle C, it would be playing an F note, so all the notes would be out. I hope this is making sense. So this tone here is in C, and if I go into my MIDI clip here and hit the middle C, it's also C. Now if I play other notes, it's all in sync with the keyboard. Hopefully that makes sense. So at this point, you can now go and create whatever melody you want, like the Swedish House Mafia melody. Cool, so you've got that melody drawn in or whatever melody you want. You can of course go in and add a bit of reverb if you want and some other effects to make it sound cooler. Now, at the last thing we need to do is the final touches. Disarm this track which has got the audio sample on it. We can bring this sound all the way back to here and we just make sure that the two volumes are matched. So if it goes from one to the other, it'll be the same sound volume. So you see it was too quiet, I've got to turn the volume up here. Cool, so there we go, it's working good. So now if I was to play the whole thing together, you'd have that perfect kind of Swedish house mafia effect. Um, let's have a listen. So there you go guys, that's exactly how you'd make that sound there. Now of course you don't have to use this to just go and recreate the Swedish House Mafia thing. You could go and use this in your own production and perhaps come up with some really creative ideas off the back of this. Now guys, if this tutorial has helped you out and you like the sound of potentially having someone coach you through making your own dance music, someone there to answer all the questions that you have as you go along and you try and make your music better and better, and you're currently in a situation where you find your music a bit disappointing, like you're just a bit disappointed with it and you know it could be better but you don't quite know how, then perhaps my EDM coaching program would be perfect for you. All you've got to do is go to edmcoaching.com. There's a link directly below this video. I'm currently doing some free live training where I'm teaching people everything they need to know to take them from where they are now to producing professional sounding music. Even if they've never used Ableton before in their life, this can work for complete beginners. Then even if you don't play an instrument, I'm gonna teach you how to reverse engineer your favorite music and show you how you can make it yourself. Then, once you know how to make music sound as good as your favorite artist, all you've got to do is start creating some of your own original music and it will sound as good as your favorite artists out there. That's what EDM coaching is all about. So, if you're interested, make sure you go and register your spot now by clicking underneath this video at EDM coaching and watch my free training on how to make amazing music and it could be a perfect fit for you. 
Guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a comment below. Give the video a like if it's helped you out. And also, if you want to see more videos on production just like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button here and hit the bell notification so you get told about future videos. Hit that button down there if you want to go and check out EDM Coaching. And finally, why not go and listen to my remix of the Thong song, link underneath me right now. See you guys in next week's video. Ciao! Pfft.